Hello, this is Lady B, the Queen of Wellness. I come before you right now with uplifting hands as we do our meditation. And we're going to do the breathing for a few minutes. And then we're going to head right into the session. So let's get started. Lifting our hands high. Going one, two, three. One, two, three. Lifting up. Breathing in. And hold it in for a minute. Breathe out. Shoulders back. And we're going to breathe again. Bringing our hands and arms up to midair. Letting the universe, the radar, the manifestation. Breathe into your full body. Letting it go. Breathe in. Bring your arms up. And breathe out. And the title of our session is Forgiveness, Apologies, and I Won't Do It No More. It's the title. There comes a time when apologies are accepted when it is it when it is sincere we sometimes can come into a situation where there is a disagreement there is unkind words there is hostile attitudes and holding on to anger with your loved ones in a relationship, a husband and a wife, and even your children or a friend. It can even be someone that you just met. And we hold on to unforgiveness when you think about the situation, when you are unforgiving, you are holding on to an uh, emotion that can really damage your inside. It can damage your whole persona about how you feel about yourself when you are holding on to unforgiveness, not willing to apologize and not being sincere in the apology. You may see that person and you may not see that person and then the thought will come into your mind and you get angry all over again because you are carrying this weight that is really weighing you down on your shoulder. And then to the new approach of wellness, we can change our thought, our thinking. When you're holding on to unforgiveness and you cannot be sincere in your apology, you will take that on throughout your life and you will show into your character that it will escalate even into how you look. It comes a time where we must let these past issues that we have dealt with throughout our lives. A lot of times when we cannot forgive someone, it's because we're carrying a low full as if it is a laundry bag. We're carrying it on our shoulders we're carrying it in our body lungs. We're carrying it in our brain. And then it escalates from the mouth. And with the mouth, it comes out even unkind words. Because 
when you are not in the awareness and letting this vast continuously escalate into your personality. Maybe it could have been from a family of origin that you seen someone in your family not having a forgiving heart. You've seen them going through fights and going through mental abuse and going through in and out of hospitals, mental wards, and so forth. And when you think about it, how did all that start? How did they become a ball of confusion within themselves? It started from a family of origin. It started with allowing everyday life issues. You find people, they will be so upset where they cannot forgive even their own loved one, which is a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a sister or a brother. And it just goes on and on and on. And then before you know it, you guys are so far apart. You're so far apart from your friends and those that you say that you care about, those that you say that you love. Love is not something that you can put on the shelf and take down as the same with apologies and forgiveness. When you truly say you love someone, when you truly say that you care for someone and your heart is sincere and the fact that you're going to take off of your body garment, you're going to take down all those thoughts and you're going to throw them into a place that is no longer needed around you in order for you to forgive that person, you would want the same for yourself if you have done someone wrong. So when you say that you forgive the person, but but what are but uh, they did this or uh, uh, but um, you are still holding on to unforgiveness. So what is important and what is vital through the manifestation and through the radar, through the energy, asking to help you to let down all of the facets that you are clinging on to, that you are holding on to. And as you go on throughout your life, find ways to have a forgiving heart. Find ways to have an apologetic heart and be sincere. Putting away those things that is going to just carry you on and make you feel unloved within your own self. Because when we're carrying this weight on of unforgiveness and uh, hostile and uh, not sincere or about an apology, then it's all it's going to do is going to hurt you in the long run. You find people every day die every day because they did not want to say that they are sorry or I asking you to forgive me for the wrong that I've done or for the wrong that they have done. It goes both ways. So in order for us to come with a new approach into this awareness, into the wellness, we can change that and we can find the newness that is waiting for us. We can find the newness in seeing uh, things in a different light and then seeing it in the same day after day, day after day. And when you're continuously holding on bitterness and cannot apologize or having a heart to say you 
a, a apology, but you're not sincere with those words, and then you'll go back and you'll turn around and you will bring that situation up once again. And it's, it's, it becomes a repeating cycle and it's a waste of time, not only to people that you keep targeting, people that you keep attacking, and the, your whole center around you. It becomes a ball of confusion. And when you cannot forgive, it will continuously, eventually, it will take you out. People die every day because they come up with these medical issues, heart attacks, have tumors and cysts, tuberculosis, cancer is the number one problem of diseases today. And cancer is a killer, as we all know, it is a killer monster and it takes you out. But it also can be reversed if you change your attitude. No disease is incurable. I know people that have had cancer. I know people that have had many diseases where the doctors have rolled them off. The doctors have told them they only have a short time to live. But through the wellness and through the changing of their thoughts, they came with a new approach in their pattern of thinking. And that's where it all starts. To forgive someone is to be forgiving. To apologize is being sincere in your apologies, not continuously taking it on and taking it on and year after year you're taking it on and then before you know it, you're out of here. And then it's all because you held on to this bitterness not being able to be sincere and apologizing or forgiving sincerely. So we're going to change our thought pattern. We're going to change the roads that we have been going up and down in our lives. We're going to change and we're going to, we're going to sit ourselves into a new and a, and a wondrous way of thinking. It all starts with you, and it's, it's all is within you to say what is the way, what is the tools, what is the uh, purpose plan that I can start this new way of having a forgiving heart, having a kind heart, not holding on grudges, not holding on bitterness. You can do it. I believe in you. Begin to believe in yourself. This is Lady B, the Queen of Wellness. I'm going to leave you for now, but never forever. And I love you. And don't forget, if you see that person that you have been holding on to this bitterness, that you have apologized and then you turned around less than five seconds or even 20 minutes, and you go back and you start in that bath up, once again, then that means your heart is not sincere in your apologies or your forgiveness. Try a new approach. I believe you can do it. This is Lady B, the Queen of Wellness. I love you and I shall be back. And do not forget to subscribe to my page. Give me a thumbs up and give me a view if you like, okay? Much love. Goodbye now.